wished. <laughs> um, because it's a big problem, we all know. But the direct question is, what would you do as our representative on the county council to address the issue of people sleeping on downtown business streets and in business entranceways? You know, I, I could be wrong on this, but I, I think Councilman Drew Kanuha from Pona might have introduced some kind of legislation that would address that. You know, I'm not really certain what that thing was, but it really is going to take some enforcement, some legislation, some enforcement. I, I don't have the answer for that, quite frankly. Um, but in, you know, in tackling the homelessness issue in general, and I know it's a big problem for the the uh, business owners here in the downtown area. You know, one of the big problems that occurred about six years ago was when the state of Hawaii um, took away a lot of the funding for mental health uh, uh, care. And the problem that arose because of it is that not only could they treat people with mental uh, you know, incapacities, uh, but they weren't able to diagnose them. And if you notice in downtown, I would have to believe a lot of the people that we see here now have some form of mental illness that hasn't been adequately addressed. So, you know, I'm just kind of getting at the root of the problem. You know, I, I think all these other things about pe people sleeping on the side, you know, by the, the doors, these are all symptomatic of a bigger problem. I'm, I'm really sorry, Christine. You know, this is something that we can speak hours and hours about. And it's very difficult to just talk about it in two minutes. I really do apologize to all of you. Thank you. I also agree there's a, there's a component of enforcement, not necessarily of any specific uh, new proposed uh, laws or rules, but uh, definitely the police presence would help. Uh, I, I personally advocate for um, use of um, unused, there's a lot of unused properties, for instance, a lot of unused buildings that the uh, county and state uh, could could be renovating. And if you notice, like uh, the old Anakila housing sat dilapidated, not, not unrepaired for a very long time. I know they build new structures and that's nice, but make use of the structures that's there, you know, repair them. Sh shouldn't cost as much to repair a structure as to build another one. Uh, also, uh, part of my employment is in social work, and we have a lot of people on probation who are homeless. And, uh, you know, we brought them through uh, Catholic Charities, our whole program, um, trying to get them into uh, services, housing, like uh, mental health, substance abuse. Uh, that is also um, a big issue that has to do with But the main thing would be, uh, like, I personally, I'm into alternate type of housing. I'm into micro housing. If we could create structures that are really simple, really affordable. We have lots of vacant land out there. All we need was the transportation to keep the people in, um, to have them able to be transported back into town to the services, maybe back to wherever we can find the vacant land to put up the alternate housing. Um, definitely the, the biggest part would be trans, the transportation, getting them back and forth, because that would be, um, that would be the hard part. You have the services is in town and that's where the, the most vulnerable in our society need to be. But if we could set up housing with, with back and forth transportation, and uh, I think they'd be more readily uh, accepting of housing. Thank you. Homelessness is a difficult problem because of the very causes of the problem. Uh, we must put real resources, not just lip service, into supporting the private and non-profit agencies that provide services to the homeless. Further, we must recognize that there are not, not all homeless fall uh, into a nice neat categories, different uh, needs. They have different needs, and we should provide resources for their basic needs, like a place to sleep, store a minimal amount of belongings, toilet and shower facilities, safety. So we have to deal with this problem by looking into the underlying causes of homelessness. Only only then we could uh, give them some uh, uh, solutions. Thank you. Thank you. Um, good question. 
I actually know a lot about ending homelessness. My first job in Hawaii was homeless outreach. I worked for Office for Social Ministry for three years, and I put lots and lots and lots of people into housing. That's how you end homelessness. That's it. And they're right. To some extent, there's a lot of other problems involved. Definitely, we have gutted the mental health system. We've gutted the medical system. We've gutted the transportation system, the judicial system. Every system that people count on has been whittled down to nothing through austerity measures. So, Throwing money at it isn't necessarily going to solve it either. It's not going to fix it. What we need um, is can be actually done with no money at all. What we can do is rezone some property to accommodate what Shane is talking about, microhousing, or get containers. You can get a container from Matson for $4,000, and you now have a room, a safe place to be, a place to put your stuff that's not going to get wet or stolen. Um, and a place to hang your hat, and a place to call your own, and be proud, and build from. We need a relief valve in the housing market. My husband was a realtor for 16 years. I know a lot about housing. I worked homeless outrage, so I know a lot about houselessness too. And that's how you end it. We can rezone some areas, and, ex and oh, another problem we have in this county is only five unrelated people can live together. So that means you can't do any kind of sustainable community, you can't do a commune, anything like that. Once you hit the sixth person, you are now an illegal residence. So we could easily, with the stroke of a pen, change that law, and all of a sudden we can have real sustainable communities all over our island. Um, she hasn't put the card up yet, so. Drew's bill. Drew's bill was awful. I testified against that twice. I. Um, got other people to come out and testify against it also. Drew's bill was designed after Tulsi Gabbard's bill on Oahu that basically criminalized you for having stuff. What they would do is come around and tag your backpack or your cart or whatever it is like it's an abandoned car. And if it's still there in 24 hours, they come pick it up. Now technically they're supposed to store it, but they're going to charge you for that storage too. So if you can't pay to get your backpack out, you lose it. If it's dirty, if it has food in it, if anything is wrong with it, they'll just throw it away. So it's not a matter of taking care of people's stuff for them that they don't know how to take care of. It's a matter of pushing people out of the downtown area. So if you succeed at that, what's going to happen? Where are they going to go? Into the neighborhoods? You don't want that either. If sleeping in a doorway is a problem, we already have a law against that. Tag them for that. Don't make up new laws. It's time that we approach homelessness with a compassionate um, stance and not just passing more laws against things that people do.